Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Takt OP Destiny episode number seven. All right, the previous episode, um, we went to a town uh, where there were no young people. Uh, everyone were like either adults or old people and we kind of got to see how people like, you know, lived there and uh, Anna, uh, Destiny and Takt had their own experiences. They met with new people. They kind of interacted with them. Takt met with um, a person who actually played with his dad before like you know he stumbled upon a bar where there was a lot of like you know, music was played and there were people who just liked music and uh, Anna and um, Destiny they met with a few other people who uh, like uh, the main person that they met was like an old la uh, a lady an adult lady who had uh, lost their ch uh, ch children uh, in the D2 attack. They don't like you know. That's why they are unable to come back. She is kind of mentally um, like you know troubled, and uh, you know she she kind of thinks of uh, that her uh, children are still alive and like lives in that kind of a delusion. That's why whenever like someone who is a young person goes by, she I'm guessing she catches them and says that oh you're my child come. Uh, come home uh, have it have some tea like she kind of acts like that and kind of uh, shows how like you know like the people are s suffering and uh, not even if not directly even if not if not physically mentally they are you know getting stressed out because of this whole situation a lot of people have lost a lot of family members a lot of loved ones and how it is stressing all the people out so it was a nice episode um yeah and uh, in the end uh, we see Takt uh, playing happily you know on the piano and Cosette proclaims that she wants to uh, destroy all the D2 because she wants Takt to keep playing music and uh, for the like you know, best outcome uh, she wants to destroy all the D2 so that they don't interfere with music anymore after that. So yeah, let's see what this episode brings. This is episode number seven of Takt OP Destiny. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Noise, okay. Oh, okay. Recently. Hmm. <laughs> Sweets. Um. What happened? Is he not sleeping? He has bags under his eyes. Is he thinking of some new musical? Okay, I think so. Oh yeah, in the previous episode we also met Sagan and I don't know, it seemed a little bit odd the way he actually reacted after he realized that Takt is alive. I might be looking too much into it. You know, maybe it's just like, you know, he was happy, but I don't know. I feel like there's something more than that. We'll see.
okay that's it all right let's see oh oh this is uh, okay huh Oh my god, is he- oh great, this guy. Wow. Damn, this guy is so full of himself. God. Wow. What? What's happening? Ah! Wow! Good! Yeah, you're fired. <laughs> I know that won't happen, but still. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Damn, he's just straight up. <laughs> he's like, yeah, you, you won't do. Just, just listen to me. Okay, shut up. Go back. Ah, oh, wow. Yeah. D2 attack or something? Oh boy, yep, D2 attack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, my god. Oh. Okay, maybe, maybe we'll see some... Okay. No, that is not okay. Ugh. Um it's Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh, yo stop oh, shit. <laughs> what i'm sorry what the hell uh, yeah that, that's not a way you <laughs> You know what? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, as I said. Yeah, the, the yeah, this
Hmm. <laughs> yeah, sure of it, but wait, what? You you yourself said that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> he can't even hear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, what is that? Oh, well, better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Damn. Wow, I, I wonder how many nights you have not slept. Like... Oh my god, did you attack? What the... Destiny transformed. <laughs> Imagine you're writing something and suddenly your hand... <laughs> uh, no, because you transformed. Hmm. Oh. Hmm, okay. <laughs> what? Wait, really? Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Hmm. <clears throat> well, you need to take a break, you know, like, yeah, continuously just. Hmm. Who you want to hear the song? Hmm. Bind. Binds. What is that? <coughs> Buying groceries? <laughs> yeah oh oh this is okay maybe they're like you know cooking for them or something yeah there you go okay okay is that lady in the in the car who was in the car Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can little kids eat candy even? I don't think so. Can they? I'm not so sure. Oh, maybe they can. Well, she, he's not a, like, you know, he or she is not a complete child. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, kind of. But we But we we've seen how his she's changing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like in the previous episode, she said, said, yeah. Oh, okay, that's okay. Yeah, I'm I'm sure there is part of her inside her, you know. Even though she's destiny, that's surely some influence. Who's this? Oh, this is um Lenin. Okay, they're, are they gonna meet again or? Yeah, I think so. Oh no, maybe there's like a D2 attack or something. Oh boy, here we go. I think something like that's going to happen now. Okay. Whoa. My God. Hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> Anna. Oh. What? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, he calls him music art, her music art. Oh, here we go. Whoa, what the? Oh, the D2s. Oh my god, what is this? <coughs> okay, wow. Hmm. Whoa, it's like a... 
Okay, nice. Damn! <laughs> okay, nice. There you go. Whoa, that was quite easy. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like that was a bit too easy. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, yeah, I was thinking like this is a bit too easy. He's not slept. Yeah, that as well. Oh my god. Uh, we need Lenny here. What? What's happening? Oh no! Wait, this is... Oh my god! Oh, this guy! Oh. Okay, this guy needs to get fired as soon as possible. What, like controlling other D2s? Okay. Oh, God. <coughs> oh, great. I really hope this guy gets fired or something. What type of trash? Like... Yeah, that's why you do this? Wow. Oh, great. I knew like I don't I wouldn't like this guy when I saw him the first time. Okay, shut up. Go home. You're you're drunk. Oh wow. Oh no, is it? Oh wow, this guy has been doing this from the beginning. Okay, this guy needs to get really punished or something. What the hell? Shut up. Oh my god, I, I, uh, I really hope he, he gets what he deserves. I really hope he gets what he deserves. My god, don't stop. Oh, wow. Okay, well, ah, uh, I really wanted to see him getting beaten down, but unfortunately I'll have to wait for next week, I guess. So yeah. <coughs> oh. Well, yeah, like, uh, what, the, the, the episode that actually introduced him, I knew I wouldn't like this guy. This is one of those, those type of characters who are just, 
you know, a waste, a total waste of a character. Oh. Okay, Lenny is coming, so hopefully we'll get some help from there as well, and hopefully this guy gets actually, um, I don't know, imprisoned or something, like something. <laughs> Dick Sagan told him that don't interfere with him, and nah, he, he won't listen, his, his jealousy is, and his pride is, oh my god. That's it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Alright. This episode. Um. Oh my god. Like, at the beginning we see this guy. Uh, and, you know, like Sagan. The whole conversation. And him kind of getting mad. You know, and saying, oh, Asana attacked. I'll get you. All that stuff was happening. But I never, I didn't think he'd like do something so quickly like what the hell like like in the end like we see we see how much of a what can i say like uh you know like bad character he is by like i, I was not, I, I was expecting he would do something within one or two episodes but not in this episode but yeah, that was kind of a surprising fact. Like I, I really got surprised as I suddenly saw him. I was like, damn, like he, <laughs> he, he goes crazy in the beginning of the episode and he like, you know, <laughs> starts, uh, you know, like doing his own thing. Uh, he starts getting up to no good in the end of this episode. So usually in these type of settings, uh, whichever episode someone gets this type of a you know like, like crazy like this it usually takes one or two episodes for them to do something drastic but nah this guy just thought that yeah i'll do everything in this episode <laughs> no need to wait <laughs> anyways all right so here um we see duct kind of uh composing a new uh song and that's why he is like you know sleep different uh, sleep deprived <coughs> And the whole thing that happened in the previous episode, him actually meeting people who knew, uh, not people, but a person who uh, knew his dad and him meeting people who liked his dad's composing, his dad's music, <clears throat> like, you know, it, it, experiencing those things actually made him more motivated, I guess. And he <clears throat> got a new drive to actually and make a new song compose a new song because that one uh, line that the guy said that uh, don't let asahina's music die i'm sure that that probably <clears throat> you know uh, influenced him a lot and he decided to start composing a new thing and <coughs> we we are in a a town or what do you call it? like in a, in a yeah like a little town kind of place where there are a lot of refugees coming and staying because they you know lost their houses and <clears throat> the, the the park was like a you know a temporary refugee spot where everyone was like uh sitting and kind of living for the moment there i'm guessing unless and until the road got cleared up so <clears throat> we see Cosette helping everyone. Now, this is what I was actually saying uh, from the beginning episode that I'm sure Cosette will change. Uh, not Cosette, sorry, Destiny. Destiny will change little by little and start to become someone like Cosette. Because, like, what can I say? Like, um, <clears throat> Cosette, he, she's in Destiny, she's in Cosette's body. Now, I'm sure uh, she, after, uh, what do you call it, Ex uh, spending time with the people who grew up with Cosette, like Anna and Tuck, 
she is slowly slowly going to be influenced and become someone more closer to Cosette, more closer to a person who like you know like to Cosette's personality because you know Cosette has been brought up by Anna and she you know spent time with Tuck in her childhood and that's how she grew up and children grow up the way the surroundings make them the surroundings environment the people they interact with kind of make a child's personality so destiny when <coughs> she came into this body the first time she was like a blank slate you know she was like oh d2 i'll destroy d2 that's my goal that was it she was stoic she had no liking or likes or dislikes she was like a blank slate the first time she ate those uh, i think pancakes or what, what did she eat i can't remember you not know, the thing that anna made she was like oh this is quite tasty and that's how she started to gain preferences likes dislikes and then she heard um Tart's piano she started liking that as well kind of like how like you know cosette was she started becoming someone like that little by little by experiencing a lot of stuff and i think you know like she since she is in cosette's body um uh, there's something called muscular memory and like you know like uh, what do you call it um yeah something like that you know like the taste that she's you know tasting the things that she's hearing everything is through cosette that's happening so i think that also probably influenced a lot of things because you know she is starting to like the stuff that she liked as cosette for example tax music um the 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 food that uh, anna used to make her all these things all the preferences that she had when she was cosette are kind of coming back to destiny and destiny is also starting to like them so little by little she is you know from a blank slate she, it's 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 starting to get filled up the blank slate is starting to get filled up with a lot of things a lot of likes preferences dislikes and a lot of other emotions and i'm sure by the end of it i'm i think like she'll become a person who is a lot closer closer to kazet she'll not become kazet completely she'll probably become a, a entity a, a person who is a lot closer to kazet's personality but she will have her own personality which is a little bit different than kazet you know the <clears throat> the sassy part <laughs> i i'm sure that will stay but she will still be more like kazet in a lot of way now <clears throat> I don't know like the way they're building this up I'm feeling as if in the end there will come a time when there the, like a whole dilemma will start where like you know like the, probably like there will something they're going to introduce something which will uh, I don't know it is just a guess you know um they'll probably introduce a plot device or whatever which is going to say that you know what you might be able to get Cosette back by doing this 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 and this you might be able to get her back and i think that will bring out a whole new problem where i'm sure by that time duct and anna will get more attached to the destiny like she even that she is now so there'll be the like a whole choice or whatever is going to come where you either have to choose cosette or destiny or i'm i'm i i don't know like if something like that doesn't happen it's all well and good but if something like that does happen that will be a whole problem in itself like like what do you do even at that point <clears throat> but this is just a guess as i said like no one knows how this is going to happen i doubt I, like i don't think this has a like, nah this doesn't have have a manga neither does have does this have a light novel or anything i think <clears throat> it is going to have a game which is going to come out later on <clears throat> and that's just it <clears throat> so no one actually knows what's going to happen by the end <clears throat> So I won't be surprised if a plot device like that will come, you know, where we'll, you'll have to choose either Destiny or Cosette or whatever. Like, I'm not happy about that, obviously. Like, you know, I'm sure we'll get more attached to Destiny by that time. But yeah, but anyways, uh, we'll see. Uh, when, when the time comes, I'm sure we'll get our answer. <coughs> but yeah, we see here. <coughs> In fact, also for the first time actually sees how destiny is changing as well as i said like you know certain surroundings and people they're spending the time with changes people and she since she's a blank slate she's learning stuff from getting influence from tuck and anna so that's why you know when anna said that yeah you're also a big source of influence for her so now she is 
helping others if you can remember like in the first or the second episode not the first uh <clears throat> third episode i think we see how she she doesn't even care if something happens to other people or she doesn't even care about the well-being of tuck you know like when tuck was painting from that red patch just coming up she didn't care she just like kept on like you know fighting while this episode we can see that there are multiple instances and multiple times when Tuck, like you know, it seems like Tuck is pain and she's he's suffering while fighting. She she's concerned about him this time. We, we can see that multiple times we see her actually being concerned about Tuck and a kind of being absent-minded because of that. And this shows how she's changing. How you know, like the emotions are changing. And uh, now here again, like you know, we we see her. There's an active interest in destiny as well to get to know about Gazette, the body she is in right now which is also something that we never would have thought that she would say because before he she was like defeat d2 that's all my i'm going to think about but now she is like you know having an active interest in learning about more new things except d2 she herself asks the question like who was Gazette and what was she like to you you know and what type of a person was she <clears throat> which is something that we never would have guessed that she would say something like this before but yeah and then like the problematic portion starts where d2's attack and oh boy oh boy wonder who's behind everything uh is that guy i don't remember his name anyways i don't care about him so yeah i <laughs> I don't like you know like the the blonde guy the yeah the blonde guy I'm going to call him the blonde guy so the blonde guy he you know is up to no good again and like I don't know like I I thought like he could not get more annoying than the previous episode but somehow he was able to get you know this episode made him into a more annoying character than we got introduced to like the episode he was introduced to he was annoying like but you know what he was still tolerable but yeah like by the end of this episode i don't know how but they were able to do it they made him even more annoying and yeah he he is a complete waste of a character waste of a i don't know what to even call a human being because he he just you know is like all full of himself he thinks that he he owns the world or whatever and yeah and that's why he can do whatever the hell he wants to and <clears throat> obviously hell is like a chaotic type of a person we have seen that and i doubt hell even cares about this she'll just do whatever uh she wants to i'm, I'm i think it's just that type of a character so like yeah like they don't care and the the main person who obviously like you know like annoys me the hell is the blonde guy so i really hope that the next episode actually makes him realize that he is not uh you know like he 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 is not as great as like you know amazing as he thinks he is i really hope that happens and i hope like tuck is the one to actually teach him that lesson i really hope but tuck is actually suffering by the end we can see like you know like the red patch is kind of spreading and I don't know how long will he be able to uh, hold it, like you know, hold the, all of these things back, and if he will even be able to. I I hope he doesn't go berserk or something. Like, you know, she seem he seemed pretty pissed off, and I don't know what will happen if that red patch kind of spreads. Like, maybe he loses his mind or something. So, we don't know. But I really hope this guy gets to learn a lesson, the blonde guy. And I really hope that the next episode is the last that we see of him. I really don't want to see his face again. This guy is annoying. And yeah, like, my God. So, so this guy was basically behind everything. Like all the things like the uh, things that happened because like, they're dying and everything. This guy was behind it. Like I thought like he, he became crazy after meeting Tuck because you know, of the jealousy thing. But no, he has been this type of a person from the beginning. He has been doing this from the beginning, not after meeting Tuck like how oh, damn so yeah like he he needs to go he needs to really go i i don't i don't care like i i really hope the next episode will be the last we see of him 
like either i don't know what like just just get him off of this you know anime i don't want to see him again like it's one of those those type of characters like you know like that i'm really annoyed to see you know like people who are full of himself thinks that he is the best and you know like just yaps about that continuously like you know thinks all the pe other people other than him or her are insignificant yeah like those are like the one of the worst type of characters in anime so i hope the next episode is the end of him i really hope that so yeah and so okay so i don't know so this guy can control d2s so that means like okay i guess like you know not not this guy but hell can do that so like like i don't know like why did sagan even keep this guy like i'm sure he knows that his what is hell's power so why the hell did he even appoint this guy as one of his like you know like as one of the officials like i don't know i have no idea we'll see and I really hope he either gets punished so bad that he doesn't come back ever again or something else happens. Like, I don't want him anymore. He's, he's just one of those annoying characters. But yeah, that was it. So next is kind of ended in a cliffhanger. I don't know what's going to happen now. Hopefully next episode, uh, Lenny also comes because I doubt Tuck will be able to hold them back. Like there's so many D2. And hell is also there, like hell is pretty strong, we saw. So hopefully then he comes and you know brings helps us with this whole thing and yeah. But anyways, that was it. That was this episode. This was my reaction to Tuck OP Destiny episode number seven. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll definitely check them out. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Tucked OP Destiny. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.